Okay, we go in a little bathroom, um, and we're in a cupboard in a little bathroom. It's a tight space, and the bees are in this wall. We can't do them from the other side, um, so we're forced to work in a really tight cavity. I've outlined the rough shape. I've gone a little bit lower to give myself some room to work from underneath but yeah this is going to be a tight one fun times ahead we've done the cuts there we go and taken the corners off the hive does go up above the roof line on this side which we knew before we started um, however we just can't do it on from the other side so um, the top plate timber I'll, I'll then have to cut to get that piece out so I can then get to the comb higher up that won't destabilize the building but it's just frustrating but awesome awesome let's pull this plaster sheet off and see what we're working with and that is the bottom of the hive um, I can see it does go above the top plate as I've already said but let's sort out the bottom of the hive it also looks like it wraps around the corner a little bit so I might have to take plaster off there but one step at a time one step at a time okay we had six frames of brood and resources so far um, the most of the bottom half is out but we do now need to take out that top plate timber uh, although it might actually not be top plate, it could be um, just a noggin. Um, but anyway, let's see what happens. Um, we'll worry about going upwards first before we go sideways. Okay, so we've got eight frames of resources and brood in the bottom box. Top box just the um, ventilation box so that the bees don't overheat while I'm bee vacuuming. I've still got more to get out from up there but um, that cavity goes another 40 centimetres higher so I'm going to be back clear out as many bees as I can out of here and around the room unfortunately I suspect someone's played sprayed surface spray at some point um, because we do have bees dying on the floor um, yeah disappointing but I'll, I'll start bee backing okay this is where it gets harder I'm now cramped in the cavity I've cleaned up down there and oh, let's go on an agonal for a moment and partially in there um, but now I've got to go up uh, it looks like the left hand side has been um, cleared out so I'll try start there get enough of a gap to work my way across the queen is somewhere up there as well so I've still got to catch the queen um, because of the poison in the main room area, I'll just have to be back there. I don't want to risk it coming in contact with the poison. Okay, I um, had to take the plaster out of the ceiling, so that's why we see tiles, so I could get to the rest of the comb. It was just um, very too difficult to get to it without taking the plaster off. Um, so, awesome, awesome. Let's keep going. Okay, so there's the bees running around in the box. Unfortunately, the dead and dying bees are on the surface spray and some more over there. Um, but the hive is out. Oh, tight cavity. Um, so we're about to take the roof off or the um, ceiling. Almost no sound of bees up here so I've got the huge majority awesome awesome um, didn't look for the queen it was too tight a cavity to muck around with finding queenie so I've got my fingers crossed she's in the box um, that's it I can't see any bees anywhere else so it's more than likely <laughs> 